Hi, my name is Olga and this is Expert Done Tax. Have you ever thought about how to start a career in IT? Today we will talk with Piotr Czubak, uh, who walked all the way through starting from being intern to front-end developer. Nice to see you here yes. in our studio today. As I know, you started as intern at Leaky, yeah? <laughs> yeah, of course, yes. It was a great adventure for me. And today, Peter will uh, tell us about his journey as intern at Leaky and Frontend House. Let's start. Can't wait. Can you please tell a few words about yourself? Yes, of course. With? Yes, of course. So, hello. Once again, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Piotr. I'm Frontend Developer at Leaky. And before I joined this team, I was studying programming at uh, University of Lodz. And you started your career here at Leaky and Frontend House, right? Yes, it was my first job. When I first met Leaky at Jobs Fair, um, I knew exactly that this is the place I wanted to be. So nice to hear! Yeah, and the people that I met there were very friendly for me and didn't treat me like a random meaningless person. Mm -hmm. Uh, like any other jobs, <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think this is the place I want to be. How did you find the offer? Well, first, um, I've seen Liki at Jobs Fair. Mm -hmm. um, a few weeks later, I've seen the offer at Moji Fuji page. Mm -hmm. uh, then I decided to apply, and yeah, the offer was looking nice. I felt confident after talking about this job at um, Jobs Fair. So I decided to, to try it. Which skills are necessary to become an intern? Well, a lot of people will tell you that you need to know perfectly a lot of technologies like React, JavaScript. Mm -hmm. But from my perspective, this is not the necessary. Mm -hmm. I think the best skill you can have is communication. From my perspective, when I joined the internship, uh, I knew a little bit of JavaScript and a little bit of React. but yeah, I think the soft skills are most important and it's not about how know, how good you know uh, some technologies, but it's about how willingly you are to learn them. So, so the will is the most important. Yes, yes. Every developer who comes here at my studio tells that communication skills are the most important. So, coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, and how uh, the internships look like? So you had uh, mentors and students, right? Uh, so yes, we had. We were three interns. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, two mentors. They teach us a lot of new things, a lot of technologies. Uh, they were checking our code whenever we write something. Mm, so we learned through that. They gave us a lot of good advices throughout the internship. So the code now looks a lot better and even after the first week it looked a lot, a lot better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you created an application, right? A, a game even. Yes. Uh, we During the internship we had to prepare a game in just a month. So we had to work fast and hard. Uh, it wasn't a simple thing because we were internship and we didn't know a lot about the technologies that we had to use. Mm, so we had weekly meetings uh, where we talk about uh, what went good and what went wrong. So we could improve our work. Mm -hmm. uh, even after the first week, we improved our communication once again. And <laughs> the communication is the key and I will tell it a lot, a lot more. And ev every time I can, I just tell about it. Uh, so, yeah, even the first week we improved our communication, which really sped up the work. Mm -hmm. uh, and every week we met to decide what to do next in the next week. Uh, so we exactly knew what we had to do, so that was... So we had exact plan, yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. the management there was really, really good. That's cool. As for me, creating a game in just one month is just incredible. It's cool. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but, but we did we, we did it. That. We did it. <laughs> Good for you, great job! Um, and what was the game? 
Well, the Enjoy. game was to promote EC1, uh, Center for Narrative uh, Interaction. A uh, center Inter for comics and uh, interactive narration. Narration, yes. <laughs> Complicated uh, uh, just name. Yes, so uh, the game was based on uh, Titus Romeki Atomex. Yeah, it Tomingo. is famous Polish uh, comics. Yes, so the levels in the game were designed exactly to look like uh, the level, the original floors on uh, at the EC1. Mm -hmm. The designers did a really good job there, uh, I can say that. It really looked so well. Mm -hmm. Designers did, and did developers? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think, I think we did. The game is playable and believe me, you have to try it. It's a lot of fun. During the game you have to collect as many points by mm -hmm. collecting the collectibles and you have to dodge obstacles and enemies and at the end of the, uh, every level you will meet one of the uh, main heroes from the comic book mm -hmm. and they will tell you about the level you were on mm -hmm. and a little bit about the level uh, you will uh, enc encounter next, so yeah. So dodge obstacles and enemies sounds like life. Was it easy for you to adapt at Leaky and Front and House? How did you feel your in your first days. Okay, so the first days weren't so great for me because I had to change my way of thinking from university to work environment. But as soon as I get to know people and I wasn't afraid to ask for help, mm -hmm. uh, once again communication is the key, yeah. uh, <laughs> I just asked for help and I got it. So it really helped me adapt and like I said before, good management because I knew exactly what I have to do. So that helped me to adapt a lot quicker and easier. So yeah, I think I think after the first week it was simpler and simpler every day. And do you think that a student way of thinking very differs from the working approach? Yes, yes, I think it does a lot because at university you get one task to do and you have like one or two weeks and it depends only on you when you will do it. But at work uh, you will have to manage your own time you have to uh, know exactly what to do and how to do it. And if you encounter, uh, encounter any problem, uh, you have to look for an answer at instant. So it not, it's not so easy at first because yeah. you have to do it now and it's eight hours every day of uh, work. But I think it's even better than university because you can learn a lot more, a lot quicker and it's fun. It's, so it's, it's like a uh, welcome to real life. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and do you think that university background is important or well, necessary? I can talk about myself only here and my feelings. Uh, and I think university won't teach you how to work. Mm -hmm. I think university will grant you the knowledge about how to learn a new technology, will show you some cool tricks, but it will not grant you work right now. You have to learn yourself. And yeah, I think job is a perfect place to... Internship is a perfect place to learn new technology. How did the internship influence you? It really helped me with not being afraid to ask for help. Once again, and I will tell many times, I learned how to communicate with other people. And people will tell that I talk about it a lot and too much, but no, it's really important for me because this is the most important thing I've learned mm -hmm. during the internship. Just talk with people, ask for help if you need it, because sometimes you just tunnel vision yourself on some solution that is not so great, maybe it's even bad, and you will spend hours doing this, but if you just ask for help, someone will get you back on the right track, and you will do your job quicker, faster, um, better, and with a lot more fun with it, because, you know, simple. And it's important too. Yes, yes, of course. To like what you do and have fun. Of course. But it's nice to hear that you like what you do. To be honest, I didn't really know what I wanted to do before um, I joined Liki. But now that I'm here, it's just the proof that this is what I wanted to do. So, here I am. If you compare yourself when you first entered the Liki office and now when you're a front-end developer, what is the difference? Well, I think the biggest difference is the way I look at the process of building an application because now I know that a lot of functions, a lot of components uh, that we build requires more time 
more thinking about them that I first think, mm, as first thing. Yeah, I think the second big difference that I see in myself is that mm, the first time I walked into a leaky office, uh, I've learned how to work at the office environment. But uh, a few weeks later, um, the lockdown happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've learned how to work from any place mm -hmm. uh, and any time. So this is not a problem right now. So if I have to work from home, I can do it freely. So it doesn't matter for me. So I think that's, that's a great thing to have, to, to know that you can work from anywhere at any time. And what can you say about your impressions about Leaky internship? Just in two words to, to conclude. Well, I think it will be... I can't say that in two words. I will say the internship was very friendly, very funny and very good for me. Like I said, I've learned a lot during the internship. It was not so long, but the knowledge that I got was really, really big so yeah i think so you think it's worth to check what you watch your page and leaky and front end house uh, careers yes of um, course if you want to join <laughs> the internship at leaky you should check it because it's really worth it so okay now i'm thinking about uh, going to to leaky internship why not <laughs> I have communication skills, no technology, so maybe if you say it's the most important. <laughs> well, I think you need some <laughs> yeah. technology, um, but yeah, I think you have to learn something before that. <laughs> I think so. Thank you, Peter, for today's conversation. It was very interesting. And thank you for watching. You can like our other videos and watch them. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video on your social media. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you in the next podcast. Thank you.